As we enter Rosh Hashanah, we reflect on the year that was. <laughs> what a roller coaster. It started with the horrific massacre of our brothers and sisters in Israel. They were raped, murdered, burnt, and some were taken hostage into Gaza. 101 are still being kept captive there now. We ended the year with our brothers and sisters in bomb shelters in Israel. But this time, Israel was able to avert the hundreds of missiles that arrived last night from Iran. We started the year with a government that betrayed us, a government that hurt us so deeply. We ended the year with a spark of hope with the government of national unity, and hopefully a Rosh Hashanah with the lights on. We started the year a community under siege. Anti-Semitism had increased by 630% at the end of last year. We are now down to our usual low numbers of under five incidents last month. Our community is still able to walk the streets proudly, wear kippot in the streets. Our children are able to go to university in safety. That is something we need to be grateful for. We are a community of resilience. And I call on you in the spirit of that resilience to come together with us and to stand by Israel on the 7th of October. As we enter that auspicious date, it is so important for us to be standing in solidarity with Israel and certainly praying for the return of the hostages. The Zionist Federation has events and memorials around the country. Please join us. Let's have our voice sounding so loud as we stand with Israel at this very difficult time. Also, if you live in Johannesburg, please join us at our version of Hostage Square. We are going to have October 7th Square on Sunday and Monday, where nearly 40 organizations, Jewish communal organizations, will be putting up displays to show 7 October through the eyes of South African Jewry. There will be a car graveyard. There will be an exhibit showing the sexual violence that was perpetrated against women on 7 October. There will be a kibbutz Be'eri and a kibbutz near Oz, and so many other very, very symbolic and important, meaningful displays. There will be a children's area where there will be child-appropriate activities. Please join us. As we enter Rosh Hashanah, my prayers are with the people of Israel. My prayers are with the hostages for their safe return. My prayers are with global jury and the terrible anti-Semitism and the threats that they are experiencing. My prayers are with our community. May this be a good year. May we thrive as a community and grow as a community. And my prayers are with each and every one of our community. May it be a year of health, a year of happiness, a year of success, and a year of healing.